This is the new backup gateway from Tesla, the inside of it, and uh, as you can see it has uh, backup contents, contacts on the back and supply contacts on the back too. And uh, yeah, it's a bit different from the, the other gateway. Um, it's basically a plastic dustbin uh, back with this board, which is quite heavy actually. That's the plastic dustbin back. Plastic dustbin. It is, it's just a sort of a vegetable tray or something, isn't it? From your local supermarket. You want to see the front bit now, don't you? Well, yeah, the inside is it's very similar to the um, the original gateway in terms of the construction. And it's mounted on this metal plate. And then the front is the fancy yeah, it's a wiring guide or something. And the front is your fancy Tesla battery type thing. So it looks nice. But that's just a... It's an acrylic plate, actually, isn't it? It's not even yeah, metal. Yeah. It's just an acrylic plate. So there you go. That's the Tesla backup gateway uh, inside and out. This is the old Tesla Powerwall gateway that has been sitting in between the mains and the power walls and my solar panels um, for the last year and doing a very good job. It's worked fine. It's managed to handle the power delivery from the panels, uh, charge the batteries and power my home. However, um, I have had this removed and the new However, I have had this removed and I've had the new uh, backup gateway installed. And I'll just show you inside this as to what's in here. This is what's inside the uh, original Tesla gateway. This is a metering unit here. Um, and these are the CT, the cable clamps that uh, tell this computer uh, whether current's flowing in from the solar or uh, from the grid or wherever it's going and the actual power wall computer is in here um, there's a LAN socket there for communications it's got its own Wi-Fi as well and these are all the connectors uh, that you use to connect it up to various different things inside the house um, it's waterproof that's very important because these can be installed outside um, the new one is much more interesting looking it has a a glossy front and the Tesla logo on it and it looks a bit like a miniature version of one of the Powerwall batteries uh, themselves. So it's this not is... not pulling anything through, it won't be registering, will it? It's not going to register the mains because it doesn't need to even look at no. the mains, does it? Um, we need to put a load on, don't I we? I turn the solar off a minute. No, uh, it's registered the mains are back now. Oh, the mains are back now, yeah, but there's nothing coming through it. So basically, now we are connected to the mains... I'll tell you what we want to do with it. How about you switch the solar board off? So switch the solar off, and then and we'll then do it. Should pull through the main. There we go. So when? Yeah, switch the solar off. Whole the whole board. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's it's. Uh, right. So we're powering the house from the batteries, and now oh, we're we powering do that from, from the mains. There we go. Right. So what's the best way? To... Oh well, yeah. I tell you what. It, this because this is it's, it's connected to the bridge usually. We have to if, suck if you more pull power. that that battery though, if it doesn't have mains connection, will shut down. It won't supply the house. If you pull the fuse now and it keeps supplying the house, it's it's island then, and right. it's off it's off grid. Okay, you, ready. So you're going to disconnect the mains now, and the battery should power the house with the grid disconnected. There we go. Is that gone? Right. So turn it out. That's, it. that's disconnected now. The yep. lights are still on. Everything's still working in the house. Not even a flicker. Not even a flicker. And yeah, there you go. The mains is off. So that is the backup gateway doing its job. And it is seamlessly switched over. And there is literally no loss of power in the house. Not even a flicker in the LED bulb, which would have gone off instantly. I'm just briefly going to show you what the Tesla Powerwall app looks like for um, the backup gateway. It's slightly different. So you've got uh, this option here, backup history. And it tells you if the power's been off at all. Um, this is while it was being installed. Obviously, we don't get power cuts like that all the time in, in the UK here. Um, don't really get power cuts at all, but it's just nice to have it as a backup. On the uh, power flow option, I've only had this on for a few minutes. I've lost all my data from my original gateway, which is a little bit annoying. The previous uh, year of data is gone, but that's life, I guess. I just have to deal with that. Um, it's not showing very much info yet, but I suppose it has only been on for... Well, about an hour now, uh, less than an hour maybe. So we'll need to give it some time to settle down. Currently charging the car and the sun's shining, so got the washing machine on and all of that. So there's a lot of power going through the house at the moment. Um, if you look at uh, performance, obviously there's not much has happened. So again, no figures there. 
backup history I showed you. Customizes, thank you, customizes a little bit different. You can go to backup only, which means that all of your power wall is reserved for backup at all times, as listed here, uh, or self powered. Um, and you can reserve a little bit of power for power outages. And to be honest, I mean, that's very unlikely to happen here. But, um, you know, I can maybe, I've got three power walls, so 10% is, is quite handy. I very rarely go down below 10% when it's uh, sunny weather like this. Maybe just uh, 5%. There we go. That's really all there is. The time of use stuff hasn't come through yet because when you have a new Powerwall installation, Tesla like to make sure that everything is working absolutely perfectly before they allow you the advanced options which give you um, peak rates and, uh, and cheap rates for electricity. So I'll just have to wait for that to come in in about a week's time. But uh, other than that, it's doing exactly what it should do. And when we unplugged it, as you saw earlier, uh, the Powerwall power walls and the gateway provided a continuous flow of electricity to the house we didn't even get a flicker from the bulb so very impressive indeed here's a little update to the power wall situation uh, what i didn't realize was that you when you put a new gateway in you get a whole new um set of appliances appearing on your app so this is the old power walls which uh, the old gateway and they're obviously on standby because they're not connected anymore. And if you look at um, PowerFlow, uh, you can tap on any of these uh, and you can get the data for previous use going back for the last year. So you don't lose your data. There it all is. It's stored in the cloud on Tesla's servers. That's all the information from my previous PowerWalls and there it all is. And uh, now if I go back to there, there is my current installation with the backup gateway. So that is how it works. You don't lose all of your data, I thought you did. You basically get it effectively a new appliance in your Tesla account. So you've got the car, um, the power walls that you have now, and the previous gateway uh, with all the data available for you to look at. So that's very interesting how they do that. Um, I guess I could have that removed from my account, but I like to keep the data, so that's what I'm going to do.